What is going on, gamers? Wow, look at my face again. Ah, the green screen's acting up. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. I just fixed this like 20 minutes ago. I don't know what the hell is going on with my camera, but there's a hole in my head. That's not cool. It's always like that. Give me two seconds. Configure video. I'm just gonna reset defaults. Hold on. Default that, and we're gonna go back over here, and boom, that should be good. Awesome. <laughs> What's going on, gamers? This is Jaded from MMOing, and tonight I'm going to be playing some more Below Zero. I played a while ago. It's been a long time. There's been some major changes to the story at the beginning of the game. I'm sure that there's probably some other things that have changed. Um, they have released the new Ice Worm expansion. So the Ice Worm is in, and they unlocked the, that whole area over there by the, uh, the glacial Glacial Bay. I can't remember what the names of the stuff's called. It's been about three months, four months since I played last. And there's a lot of things to check out. So I'm just going to start a brand new game. And we're going to see how things have evolved since the last time I played. I'm also going to kick my shoes off here. Don't need that. Uh, or that. Oh, my, my feet are itching. I'm going to get these socks too. Screw. Oh, whew. damn. <clears throat> Much better. Now I'm ready. Hopefully the stream is not skipping because it looks as though the, uh, yeah, it says I'm losing frames here. Why is it skipping? Oh yeah, it's skipping like crazy. Hopefully it's just load time here. Let me really quickly make sure I have everything closed. That should be closed. <laughs> so they've definitely been doing some work on the game and there are a few things that I noticed hopefully this is gonna speed up the uh, problem with the dropping frames closing out some of these programs I've opened yeah my whole computer's running slow it might just be the load the way the screen's loading now it's taking a lot longer because uh, they have a new build for September 2019 and that build is not optimized yet so it's taking on much longer to load up as it did uh, last time I played. It's because they've added a lot of stuff to the game on things that are not optimized. So we'll just have to deal with that. I'm sure it will get better. It will be fixed at some point in the future because that's how uh, early access games usually work, especially ones that the developers are working on it specifically while you're testing it, which is a really cool thing. I mean, they, they come up with new, uh, new builds, very constant actually. I'm going to hit that button in one second before I click that. Just trying to close out some things on the computer here to see if I can not speed up. I'm dropping some frames right now. And I realized my son had a bunch of stuff open, so I'm closing Roblox right now, actually, which I don't know why that's open. And let's see. Ooh. Okay, two minutes ago I lost 16% of my frames. Looks like everything's good now. I'm clicking OK. Seems to be smooth. Awesome. So yeah, I think we uh, we dodged that bullet. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and jump in here and check out some of the new changes. So right off the bat here, that little uh, question mark there in the center is new to me. I believe that's going to be an image of uh, Sam. So we're going to get to see her. I love the way it tells you excellent when you press tab. Like it's rewarding you for, for pressing the button. I love games that do that. That PDA is still there. That's going to be my... Uh, oh, so okay, wait. So there's some things going on. Saying what's happening in the meteor storm. Their interference is closer than they thought. This is all new to me. How long? Maybe 10 minutes? Robin, Jeff, do you read? Jeff, Rovecki, we did it. I translated the wake up command. Your timing sucks. We're evacuating. Jeff? His last GPS check-in was at the cave entrance. I'm going up there. Roger that. Don't stay any longer than you need to. Okay. So Sam's up on this Vesper on the space station. Um, and I'm down here on the planet. And Jeff, I guess, isn't missing anymore because he used to be not uh, there at all. Now uh, his last known location. Now there used to be some dialogue 
you could actually hear the conversation that Sam had with you. But let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Oh, wow. Okay, that's new. This is blocked off. That's another bedroom or another, uh, I guess, sleeping quarters. This is the laboratory. That's also locked off. It's the cargo bay locked off. Yep, the cargo bay and the greenhouse are over here. They're both locked off too. That's crazy. So we can't go in there anymore. Um, there's still a PDA on the table here. Okay. So it looks like they've confined you to this room now. The only way to go, I guess, is out. So. Interesting. All right, are the PDA still in here? Yeah, look, there's a PDA right there on the table. That's the laboratory. Can you get in over here? No, sir. Nope. It seems like all the uh, rooms have been locked off. You used to be able to kind of freely explore the space. It seems as though that's not an option anymore. Wonder if that they're gonna get rid of all this completely, or if they're uh, like doing some under construction stuff. Maybe give you a little bit more to do here at the base. One of the things I love about this game and the first Subnautica as well is they didn't give you any kind of tutorial. I mean, the first Subnautica, you literally start off in a ship and there's a fire and there's a fire extinguisher sitting there. So you just do the obvious thing. You pick up the fire extinguisher, you put the fire out and then you save stuff. Oh, look how fast I'm freezing. That's crazy. That's a lot that has been manipulated. Do the heat plants work yet? Oh, <gasps> the heat plants work. Last time I played, these did not work. They look like they're a little bit cooler looking too now. They're still, I guess they were doing this last time too. Okay. So keep us heated up as we run. So the other thing you need to worry about in this one besides your food and drink and life is your uh, your coldness. Your, your, uh, your temperature is important. So this all looks pretty much the same. So they may have done some graphical improvements in here. This looks really pretty. Some of the glistening on the walls, I don't know if that was in there last time I played, but it looks really nice. Oh, see, look at the, the light reflecting off the ice. It's pretty beautiful. <coughs> Jeff. Jeff woke me up. Now Jeff is gone. Who am I speaking to? Oh, wait a minute. That's the, it's supposed to be the computer. See, there used to be dialogue here, actually voice dialogue where you went in here and the beam shot up right here. Yep, that's still there. What happened here? That information is ceiling shakes and debris falls as the meteor strikes the mountain overhead. I didn't feel that. <coughs> Damage sustained. Rerouting data to the sanctuary. Sanctuary power low. Jivav isn't here, but we, but Sam, we spoke, spoke to it. Please go to the escape ship. I'm on my way. Okay, so that still needs a tablet, which we do not have. And there is a passcode, which might actually be here for the developers right now. I'm not sure if that's going to stay there. Here's uh, abandoned PDA. <coughs> so, yeah, what used to happen is when you walked right here, the door shut, and it said it was an alien voice, and it said basically uh, you now have access. You cannot come in here. Um, turn back or you'll be destroyed. Now, apparently, what just happened didn't actually happen, but something hit this... Uh, a meteor hit the mountain and the station shut down and rerouted power to another facility which I'm believing is probably the one down in the uh, in the uh, twisted bridges the deep twisted bridges area but I'm not sure now it's kind of crazy because I don't know if all that animation that they did well okay, that's the same I just forgot so it gives us a new path is there any more nope so I guess she warned us about the storm earlier. See, there used to be a dialogue piece here where it said the storm's already here. That's not happening anymore either. So what's crazy is there was a lot of voice dialogue, it seems, that they just completely took out. We have your ship on the radar. What? I'm not on that ship. Look at the ship. <clears throat> that ship just took off without me. Oh, look at the meteor. That's fucking cool. Dude. The meteor storm is here. I'm gonna see what I can do from here. All right, let me let me check. Let's check the PDA real quick and find out what we're missing here. So, um, how long? Maybe ten minutes. Or minutes? Understood. Be careful, Jeff. GS checker. But there's no sign of him approaching the research site. Who am I speaking to? Jeff woke me up. That's a voice in the. It's an alien facility voice. 
Uh, sanctuary power low if so rerouted out of sanctuary damage sustained. Ceiling shakes and debris falls and then I guess they they read down from top to bottom, that makes more sense. <coughs> Jeevo isn't here. But Sam, we woke something up. I spoke to it. Please get to the escape ship. I'm on my way. We have your ship by radar. Whoa. You guys see that lightning strike in front of me? A meteor strike? Uh, well, I'm not a ship. Who is it, Jeff? The only it could be. Where's it going? I'll find out where you are now. Still making for the base. That's my best shelter now. Okay, so... I guess we're still going to run toward the base. Which, uh... Which, oh, see, look at this drop here. I can see the base now. Oh, they opened that up so you could see the base before you got over there. I wonder if I could, like, maneuver my way around this mountain without having to go down here. Oh, shit, I'm freezing to death. I don't think I can physically freeze to death right now. We should probably go before I die. So they opened that up there so you could see the base in the distance. Because when you get over here, there's an avalanche. That's still there. And the base is gone. So all those PDAs are just buried in snow now. We cannot access them at all. I like the fact that that stays there. That first piece that fell in, shouldn't that have broken the ice? Oh, okay, she's talking again. I don't think I can die here. I'm just going to pretend like I can die here. What do you say, Sam? Static, that's a negative, it's gone. Are you back at base yet? Oh, okay, oh no, are you back at base yet? That's a negative, it's gone. Static, Sam. So I lost contact with Sam too. Look at these meteors. I should take some pictures here to put in our base later. Let's see. Um, what is it, no last one? Yeah, there's a screenshot to PDA. It's pretty fun. I hope, oh, I'm kind of hoping a meteor will hit me again. I want a meteor to hit like right in front of me. Are there any over here? Right now, I should technically be freezing to death, but because I don't have any life yet, I don't think I can die, which is good. Yes. I can sit here and freeze forever, I think. Whoa. That one was low. I want one of those meteors to hit me. Like, buy me again. I don't think it's going to happen. Fuck it. Let's jump. As soon as we get down here, that tower's going to fall. And. Alright. And we're in the water. <clears throat> now we're submerged. Subnautic style. Subnautic style. Okay. So that's all pretty much the same. But it looks like they adjusted the uh, the hypothermia <coughs> meters. They they seem to be moving very quickly. I think there was a bill recently that said four minutes. It said you couldn't remain above water for more than four minutes, which is uh, something I think they just changed because I didn't hear them say that this time. But before that, it was the same. So maybe it never was that. Someone just was wrong about that. Look how pretty everything is out here. Looks like they spent some time on these islands. That was a hell of a jump. Yeah, that looks really nice. I don't remember these looking this good. A meteor strikes the Vesper, causing an explosion. Vesper, do you read? Okay, so let me wait. I missed. I missed something. Let's go back. This is all new. Um. Let's see. So, PD, your environment is no longer safe. Yeah, I heard that. Come in. I copy, I'm okay. Stay where you are and look up. So when I looked up, she's dropping the life pod, which is floating down right now. Did everyone else get away? Did you find Jeff? They're still counting heads. We haven't found a meteor strikes the Vesper, causing an explosion and visible damage to his docking bays and communication. I don't know if you can see the docking bays and communication from here, unless they're gonna, they plan on changing that. The Vesper's still floating there. That might just be a uh, temporary thing. I don't know. I don't see how I could see that. The, okay, so the, the thing landed pretty close to where I am right now. So let's go get into the uh, the pod here and start our journey on Subnautica. So if you haven't played any of these Subnautica games before, it is one of my favorite uh, survival game series. It's not really the kind of survival game you'd think of. 
it's really fun. Um, it's more of an exploration game than a survival game, I feel like. But there's a nice little crafting system, and you go around and you, uh, you live, and you build bases, and then you explore. You find all kinds of cool stuff. Also, remember, you gotta breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Hit E here. Put that away. So here is our little uh, life pod. This is what we're gonna be using for a little while. In the first Nautica, it's more of a pod. This one's more kind of a... Like a little... Uh, looks Almost looks like a vehicle. Let's craft some water with that bladder fish that I grabbed. So we're gonna be needing that. I got the fiber mesh right off the bat for doing absolutely nothing. Was that a thing? It might have been a thing. Alright, so there's a few things we need to get crafting. First off, let's go ahead and look at equipment here. We're going to need that standard OT tank. We're going to need that fiber mesh for that. Uh, translate vertical limb movement and water. That is going to be my fins, which I need. Under tools, we're going to need a scanner. Flashlight, we're going to make everything. And silicon rubber. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get some seeds. So we're going to look around. We're going to see if we can find some kelp kelp. It used to be called the kelp forest. This is called Twisted Bridges here. I'm not sure what the other area is called. I don't remember. It's been, like I said, like like four, four to six months since I played this game last. It's been a while. Everything I knew, I probably don't know. I still have a general idea of where things are. So we're going to come down here and find a cluster of seeds. Those guys right there, those are the uh, sea monkeys. They're going to steal your shit. I'm going to grab these for some food. Oh, wow. He's like Fucking playing with me. Alright, there you go. And damn it. Um, they'll if you're holding anything in your hands, the sea monkeys will literally like swim up and steal it from you and they'll try to get away. You can kill them. Okay, so emergency cash just randomly popped in. No one told me it was gonna happen, it just happened. Maybe that was like uh something that they did from the Vesper as it's burning in the sky. I want to come down here and see if I can find one of the big seeded branches here. There's one right there. Nice glowing pink. So these bad boys right here are going to allow me to make some silicon rubber. I believe they are also needed to make... Um, what's the other thing? No, uh, 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 um, it's like an oil... Like lubricant. Lubricant, yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's been a little while. I'm remembering stuff. Let's go ahead and swim back to the base here. We're going to go ahead and craft our bigger oxygen tank. And we're going to get a knife. Once we get a knife, we can go and get some fiber mesh. And we can uh, continue making the things we need for our, our beginning for the beginning of our adventure here. <coughs> so my main goal right now is to pretty much get everything crafted that we can craft. It's only going to take a few minutes to do that. So let's see. I don't need copper wire yet. Yeah, so we need silicone rubber. The silicon, silicone, silicon. Oh, you know, I just realized I'm hiding my life and stat bars. We're gonna move me over here. Let's bring it down a little bit. That looks good. There you go. Now you guys can see the what, what's happening over here. Sorry about that. That was crazy. All right, back to the game. All right, so. Now that we have some silicon rubber, let's go ahead and cook these fish. We need both of them because I need to eat. So down here you can see I got your water meter, your food meter, and your health meter. Um, there is no specific meter for your uh, temperature. That happens, you just have to pay attention to it because if you're not paying attention to it, you literally can freeze to death above water. Uh, so make some fins. That one I'm gonna need the fiber mesh, which we cannot make yet. Let's see what else. The knife, we need a silicone rubber. Did I not make enough silicone? Oh, I can still make more. Okay, now we can make a knife. And that knife right there, that little bad boy is gonna go on my bar and we're gonna use that to go get the other things that I need. Right now, we're basically gonna swim right back over to the same place we were just at. I'm also going to eat these uh, fish real quick. Cool. And we're going to have to go up and get air. Is that a tank? This game is brutal. Look how fucking dark it is out here. Look at this. 
That is a crazy blizzard storm. I can't freeze to death as long as my body's in the water, I think. But this this looks crazy, right? You guys can't you can't see shit. I can't see shit. Probably can't really see shit down here either. You can see that glowingness though. That's where I'm headed. Now this time we're gonna pull the knife out. I'm gonna whack this guy. Oh shit! He took my knife. Oh he didn't get my knife. I put it away fast enough. He tried to take my knife. So we're gonna go use the knife on this creep vine. Which actually means I didn't need to swim all the way over here. There was no reason for me to do that. I'm gonna put my knife away just in case. One of those bitches comes back and tries to steal my shit. I don't want it. I don't want it happen. This twisted bridge is down here. It's beautiful. Wait, let's go ahead and grab some things we're gonna need. We need some quartz, the glass for the flashlight. Hmm, I'm gonna get a couple more bladder fish too. While we're here. We are gonna need some titanium. Anything I can find would be cool. What's this? Copper would be nice. Oh, titanium. Okay. Those have a chance of dropping copper or titanium. Just gonna keep heading back towards the ship. I'm gonna grab any of these uh, shawls that I find. These are outcrops. Oh, my inventory's full. Um, let's go ahead and drop the seeds. We can always get more seeds. All right, let's see what else we can make now. So I pick up two, yes I did, I can make some glass. I'm gonna make some fiber mesh. I'm make some more fiber mesh. I'm gonna come down here, we're gonna make, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna make my oxygen tank. Boom, that automatically brings me up to 75 seconds underwater and I just got the repair tool, cool. So now I can make that. Next thing we're gonna need, um, since we have the repair tool, might as well get that made quickly too. I'm gonna come out right now, we're gonna get all the things we need to finish this off. First thing we're gonna need is some of those uh, green plants. I always call them banana plants. They're not banana plants. I can't remember what they're called right now. But we're gonna grab, oh look, I can't scan that. We need to make a scanner is what we're doing. We need a battery. These guys right here, I'm not sure what they're called. Let's see, uh, they are ribbon plants, ribbon. Two ribbon plants and a copper will make a uh, battery. Be a copper, sweet. That was a battery. We're gonna need another battery for the flashlight. So we're gonna have to find some more ribbon plants. I'm gonna check over here. Looks like, yep, we're good. There's some more. We need two more of these. Might as well see if there's any in that other cave right here. Grab those two. It's always like one. That's just that's messed up. Let's go ahead and get some air. And how much copper do I have right now? I've got three, perfect. So that should be enough to make the, I should be able to make the, the scanner, which is gonna be super important right now. And I should also be able to make the uh, flashlight, which is gonna come in handy for the videos because I don't like playing on the stream when it's pitch black for you guys and you can't see anything. So we're gonna make that work. My face, like, right there. That's, like, a horrible place for my face, isn't it? Am I taking up too much screen? Ah, whatever. You guys can see. We're good. Um, let's see. So, uh, I don't need storage. I'm gonna go over here. Let's go ahead and craft the batteries. That's what we need. Make a battery here. And then we can go ahead and see what else we need for that. I'll make the scanner first. We'll make another battery. And we will make the flashlight, which requires the glass that I made earlier. Ooh, alien noises. Originally alien sanctuary site, Twisted Bridges, 200 meters depth. Quartz data bank. Okay, so Twisted Bridges, uh, 200 meters down is where I'm gonna be going next to the alien sanctuary. Seems like the place that the uh, original was moved to. So that's kind of that's kind of a new way that it got there, but it looks like they are using the same storyline at this point in the game, which is awesome. Um, let's go ahead and throw that ribbon plant in storage. That's what I was gonna do. You can go in there. We'll keep the silicon in there. Um, and the copper. You know, let's just put everything in there. A rotten creep vine. I don't think I can make anything else with the creep vine. Can I? <clears throat> I'll make two waters real quick. There's nothing to do with the creep vine. Just realized I didn't do it. Okay, there was that. 
yeah, it doesn't look like one creep vine is going to be enough to do anything. So I'm going to put that outside under the uh, base here. I'm going to grab that peeper. Son of a bitch. I can't catch him. He's too fat. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. Come here, peeper. I'm going to grab your peeper, bitch. No, no. Did I, did I lose him? So, come on, man. God, got the peeper. I went fucking 50 meters away from the base chasing that damn peeper. All right, what I was going to say was I'm going to go ahead and drop this right here into the base. Things seem to stay forever in the game. I'm not sure that they don't. So there you go. That ribbon plant there just kind of floats in the water. If you run into it, I believe it moves. Yeah. This physics-based collision there. But it's cool. It will just stay there. It will stay under the base for me. Um, so I think what I'm going to do... See what else we need to craft real quick. I'm gonna have to go get some more resources, but I don't remember what I'm supposed to be getting. Let's cook that peeper. I got a little bit of food and water on me. Let's see what else we want to make. Under here, tools. Um, this is the Pathfinder tool, which I've never used, but I think it might come in handy in certain cave situations in this game that I've found. Um, that's the air bladder, which I've never used as well, because the air bladder is just, you know what? It, it might be a good idea to have that. Let's go ahead and make. I just, I just, I just cooked my. I just turned my bladder fish into water. Let's grab a bladder fish and make an air bladder. I think, I think that could be a thing. That's not a bladder fish, but I need that. Where's the bladdy fishy fish? Let's go ahead and just grab some of these materials while we're out here. Um, Bladderfish, I did this in the first playthrough because I did play through the original Subnautica from beginning to end. Um, I have the entire thing on a YouTube uh, playlist on my MMOing YouTube channel. It's YouTube slash MMOing. Um, but I did, uh, I said this then too, I can't see the Bladderfish until I, f there's one. I, once I see one, then I start seeing them all over the place. But it's always very difficult for me to see them. I don't know if that's a vision thing on my part or what, but it's weird. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cook the peepers. Which actually, it's, we don't wanna cook too many of them because I believe you can keep them in the, I think when you cook them, even if they're bad, they, they are still good to eat, but they do go bad. Um, cooked peepers will go bad after a certain amount of time. Um, what you wanna do is get some salt and we wanna cure them. Not, they'll stay good forever if you cure them. Uh, let's see, this is a floating air pump. I can show you what that's for, you know what? We're going to go ahead and craft one. Because I'm going to have everything. Let's craft everything. We have that. We have that. Um, we don't have any med kits. But I do believe we have more fiber mesh in here. We did silicon. We have one fiber mesh. Let's grab that. I'm going to go ahead and craft a health kit just to have one. And uh, let's see what else. So we have that. We have. We don't have the pathfinder tool. And the air bladder is what we're going to make. Let's grab the silicon rubber. There we go and like the air bladder. Right there. Let's take a look here. So we have a scanner. We do not have the repair tool to get some crystalline sulfur, which is not very hard to get. Um, we have flashlight. We've got the air bladder. We don't have this yet. We need a battery for that. And we have so and a creep vine seed. Cool. We're gonna go get these. So I think that's good. Let's see what else we over here. We have that. We have that. We have that. We have that, and I can make pipes for that, and I'll show you guys how that works in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and please keep them in mind. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. If you like what I do, please hit those follow, like, subscribe, and share buttons. And for links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube, the MMOing store, the podcast, and more, check out my website at mmoing.epizzy.com. And if you want to help me get a real.com and keep the stream flowing smoothly, Consider becoming an MMOing supporter. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next stream.